What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Last Days of Warcast. We are Southern California-based band, The Last Days of War. I'm Mark. I'm Rob. I'm Danny. I'm Beats and Beats. And we were talking about feet, apparently. Right? What's up, man? Hey, What's first on the agenda here? Feet. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> to feet. <laughs> shots. Shots. Shots to feet. Feet shots. That was a big shot. Ooh, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed last week's episode with the War Wives. Uh, that was a lot of fun to shoot. Really and, hard uh, to get them separated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, man. If you guys would want to see another episode like that, let us know. We could probably make it happen. I think they're still shooting their episode. It's still, they're still it's, talking. It's still going, but like we just turned the cameras off. But they're like still in the garage going. They're dropping it on Netflix. <laughs> um, the real lives of war. I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> no, they're, just like, they're not even. No, it's a. Oh, God. This is horrible. <laughs> so Reach has been out for a couple of weeks now. Yes. And I just want to say thank you all, to all of you for We just want to reach out to you real yeah, quick. Yeah, we just want to reach out to you guys. Uh brought to you by Reach by the last days of war, all streaming platforms. Um we just honestly just want to say thank you for all the love it's been getting, all the comments, all the you guys sharing your own personal stories of loss with me. Um I it 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 was an emotionally overwhelming week for me. Uh, got a lot going on personally and then got all this love from you guys and seeing all this stuff going on it's been tremendous and I uh, just fucking thank you guys is that what you're gonna say no I, I just think it's great the amount of love it's getting and people are actually taking the time to go back and actually listen to music like the way music was intended you know yeah. I, I think that's the more Holy crap, people are actually going in and listening to it and diving deep and hearing it multiple angles each way. And I still think it's great that people are listening to music like that. Yeah. Thank One you. thing I thought was kind of interesting was I saw some comments where people were talking about like just like they were I felt like there were some people that were separating like the vibe that the music gave them and then what it did for them lyrically. I think we accomplished both of those in a way that I think resonates with people. And then like, yeah. you know, the message behind it's cool. Yeah. 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 Josh. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I was going to say actually on a personal note for me and you over 4,000 streams is pretty good for one song considering the lyrics and everything you wrote. If you think back to our previous band Yeah. yeah. and then what we have now. Yeah. It's pretty awesome to get that in less than a month's time for one track. Well, I mean, yeah. for an independent band that doesn't have money that was, behind that us, that was a week, and, <laughs> and all of that stuff. That was a week. Time. Yeah. I mean, um, I don't want to show on the progress of it, but thank you guys. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, seriously, yeah. That's, well, it, like, this uh, was like the biggest, was, like, uh, hey, we want more, and it's like, okay, we're we're giving you guys more. We're gonna get you guys more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There was that photo I showed these guys. I showed them on our you know, our whole chart of songs. Like, I feel like Heathens was was kind of the biggest release we had. Yeah. That kind of got the most attention right out of the gate. And where the graph for Heathens goes like, hi, how you doing? Reach is just going straight is, up. Yeah. So it's like, well, it's really for us, I want to say it's like a 3,000% increase. So <laughs> from, from Heathens released, I yeah. think that that's, I think we would call that growth, you yeah. know? So yeah. that's cool. Please don't look at our growth. Get some radio <laughs> so, so it's a bit private. Mike Z, our boy, will be playing it. Night Vault, actually, they've already played it. Ninety six seven. That was last week, right? That was, that was, that was, that was last week on Saturday, bro. Saturday. Great, thank <laughs> you, Mike Z, for playing our song. It's hard, it's hard to keep track. Yeah. It's bit, well, it's busy so when when it's, it's a release. Is it's it's a funny day, you know? It's a kind of funny week because. You start getting, like you said, you were getting comments and videos and people making videos with it and other yeah. stuff. And so it's uh release day is always weird. Yeah. I had a few you know? people that sent me like DMs, not just comments on the video of like, oh, you know, when I heard the song, I it's exactly how I felt, you know, people who've lost spouses and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And uh I made sure I asked if for every person, I'm like, I, I thank you so much for telling me your story do yeah. you mind if i share this as a comment on our video because i you know i put a bunch of them together and stuff like that just yeah. so people can see that you know uh this song is connecting with people yeah, in a way awesome. that <clears throat> you know it's not a lot of musicians ever get to feel that feeling right you know so it's cool we appreciate every single one of you and 
4,000 streams might not sound like a lot to somebody, but that's fucking amazing to us. And, yeah. you know, let's go fucking 4,000 more, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> Gotta start We're somewhere. We're 8,000. That's it. We're cutting it off. <laughs> Keep yeah. telling your friends. Keep telling your friends, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I just got to keep pushing it. But just keep remember rolling. the first two rules. Yeah. You want to uh, talk about this Super Bowl stuff you're talking to me about? Yeah, so did you guys... There was... I don't know. I just kind of found it kind of like a weird kind of series of events, you know? Mm. And uh, so, you know, the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. Mm. And uh, the Kelseys, the brothers, and Taylor Swift go out. And there was... Jason Kelsey got that mask, you know, and got up on stage and danced around. And I guess they kind of found out who the mask belonged to. And it's some family that's been to like five Super Bowls and shit. Wearing so, it and shit. Yeah. yeah. So he was going to get it back to them. And then. Ray Mysterio. Yeah. <laughs> and then Travis Kelsey got up there and did the whole Disturbed song thing. And then uh, I just kind of thought it was funny because now Disturbed's hitting him up going like, come, come on our stage. show and get on stage. Yeah. And. It's just one of those kind of weird connections. Those weird domino effects. Yeah. Wait a, minute. Like, <laughs> wait a minute. You're saying Disturbed is inviting Travis Kelsey to come on stage and with them? Sing and sing that live. Oh do the, yeah, he won't, he's inviting him. Okay. Can you feel that? Yeah. Uh, I, I thought it was feel? something different. Rob, can you feel Wait, what do you, what do you think he wanted to feel? Well, because like he, I know he publicly on stage said he was defending Taylor Swift. Yeah. And this was, I think this was before that. So like yeah. I said, it was just kind of a weird kind of, but turn it, of a, like, it seems more like there's, there's a bigger play emotion. It was like, well played disturbed. Like oh, well, here I thought you were just kind of like trying to be a one hit wonder with stupefy and here you go. Trying to swift it out. Trying to, try to, try to get on the roach in it. You know what I'm saying? Can't like, wait for that uh, fucking Taylor Swift disturb collab, dude. Dude, do I really? Yeah. I'd be into it. Do it. Do you think she could do you think she could do the ooh yeah. she's like, she's like, Green Day's the ooh, backing ah, band? Ah, ah. Tell me I'm fucking wrong. <laughs> Yeah, man. Oh, I, hey, that, that's fucking crazy. What uh, sound does it sound like? Nothing you've ever yeah. heard before. Oh, audio vomit. That's yeah. it. What's crazy about that chain of reactions is this next story is fucking wild, dude. Okay, so in Florida, there was a guy, there was an okay. officer who was walking by his car. I'm going to play the video for you. Yeah, this Rob, the, Rob you don't know this story at all, right? I have right? no clue. Okay, they, they said something about an acorn. I'm like, okay. Okay, check this out. So Rob's watching the video. Okay. Cops so walking by a shit. Give him, give him the story while he's watching it. As he's, so what's happening there right now is an acorn right there, as you can see in the video, fell and hit the top of the car. Uh-huh. He took it as a gunshot, starts saying, shots fired, shots fired, and somebody else says, where? And they just start blasting some dude that's walking by. Right here. They just start, <laughs> they just start going in on the guy. Dude's just chilling. And then he starts screaming, uh, oh, I, I, I was hit. I fucking, I feel it in my back or whatever. Like, yeah, he's, he's like, my legs came out when I heard it. Yeah. So it's just a crazy story, dude. Like, I hear he, uh, he has resigned Did since he? this. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. yeah. That's nuts, dude. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> they also, they also said, they said Thank something you, <laughs> along the lines of, that he served at some point and yeah, it's crazy, right? Said something about P- maybe possibly PTSD and he had an episode or something, so it just triggered it or whatever. Like, yeah, uh, and then I also heard some people saying that he wasn't like a wartime combat. Hear me, I don't out. think he was. Hear me out. I just think that <laughs> I just think cop. that people in certain positions. Rob's gonna talk now. Yeah, uh, sorry, I'm I didn't mean to cut him everyone up. But I just let him cook. I, let him I feel cook. like I feel like. We are drug testing the wrong workforce. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. Like, I feel like we should be drug testing the higher ups. Like, hey, we're going to run the country. Cool. You take you pee in this cup t- for me, please? You pee in this cup for me? You check your record and everything? Holy shit, well, man. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, why are we drug testing and they're not? Because I guarantee you, they're not passing shit. I guarantee you, we need those drugs to get through our job. You know what I mean? <laughs> Some of them aren't even drugs. It's just like how you look at you know. No, no, no. Yeah. But but I feel like at a certain point, like, hey, wait a minute, we should be testing 
did that stuff. Higher or higher testing okay. levels for what higher positions are. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're going to be in charge of a certain amount of people, you need to be able to pass said test. You need to be able to beat a breathalyzer at least every night. I don't know. How's that work? Yeah. I, it just, you got to. Hmm. Drugs are bad. Right? No, no the drugs not. are good. You just got to yeah. use them. Do you the think right way. you should be allowed to take whatever drugs you need to get through your work day? Yes. Yeah, I feel the same way, dude. Just, bro, you want productivity, bro? <laughs> fucking break out the bolsa. You know what I'm saying? Saca la bolsa and fucking. Whoa, sh- but then you got COVID rules. And so, like, the. So you can't feet. share your cocaine? Well, Fuck. yeah. <laughs> It's like you can't you can't dip your chip in the salsa. You got to put salsa in your bowl, and then you can dip your chip into your bowl. That's true. I mean, is it? I don't know. Still keep a community. Like share the germs. <laughs> That's what I say. Like share share the germs. Yeah. That's how we stay alive. I think I mm-hmm. think that that we should expect you a go lot back more. And watch this episode. I'm dead from from uh, <laughs> what we've got oh, as far really? as people that are keeping the, the peace. <laughs> You know, I think I think we should expect a lot more. This is if this is the standard, I think the standard's pretty goddamn low. Yeah, and that's crazy. So. Yeah, for sure. That's that's yeah, my man. Take on it. Uh, Do it's better. Just, it's just oh a God. wild video, dude. I just, I'm, I'm I'm glad that nobody was killed. Dude. So okay, like, so let me explain something. I believe that that guy's got the, the guy that the guy. So right? let me explain this. He thought an acorn fell and there was it was a gunshot, right? Yeah. He thought it came from the guy that was handcuffed in the back of his car, which he had just handcuffed and searched. Is that who they were shooting at? I, at the car, at his own car. So, yeah. I mean, we could go through and read the yeah, whole yeah, thing, yeah, for sure, for the sure. details, oh, fuck, but I just um, scrolled by. I Sorry. <laughs> Did you watch the video with me? I did. In there it says uh, there was a guy that's walking uh, by and it's like see. starts firing. Trigger event. Right there. Calling out shots fired, discharge his weapon. Oh yeah, where Jackson was handcuffed. You're right. So, so he was handcuffed in the car. So <laughs> oh, dude. You, okay, because I'm like, I'm like, you're gonna hold on, this you're gonna claim like a weekend in you're Vegas. gonna claim PTSD as this being some type of and I'm just like but bro, don't give PTSD a bad name like that, bro. Yeah, for sure. This wasn't PTSD. No. You searched the guy and handcuffed him. I mean, if you can't feel secure that you secured this guy in your car and searched him, there shouldn't even been a thought that he was firing at you with a firearm if he had no opportunity sure. to get to one. So you're it? a fucking idiot. He did, That's, did, he didn't I don't, don't know how the dude, the the car, dude didn't get hit. The guy yeah. lived. He didn't get hit. He's yeah, he not injured. Was he either. firing shots into his car? Two it, cops it, dumped their mags at the guy. Into the into the car where the guy was handcuffed in. Yeah. Yeah, it gets worse, bro. That's wild. <laughs> and apparently they're both stormtroopers. Apparently they're both stormtroopers because nobody got hit. So. <laughs> was he paid, good paid leave. That level? <laughs> paid leave for everybody. Yeah. yeah. Here's Jeez. here's your main character handcuffed in the back seat of a car, two cops unloading on you. So just like, let's, just, shit, let's, just, you let's just let's just let's just understand this. I'm a sound engineer. That's what I've done most of my life. If I went to a show and was expected there to be a show to happen and I failed to do it, I'm bad at my job, right? 100%. So if you're shooting into a, your own car with somebody you checked, you already checked, yeah. it's not PTSD, you dude. Know, you're a fucking moron. I want to I mean, see the face of the squirrel that dropped the acorn. And he's like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's just up in the tree like, fuck that, dude. He's got like, all these other bro. acorns like... My family's just trying to eat. Like, that's my bad. <laughs> He's just holding other acorns. Like, fuck. like, but do you think you would have popped off if it was a pine cone? He's all fucking like walking slowly with the rest of them. Like, like, it's <laughs> all... No, it was a big ass pine cone. I don't know just... because I have pine trees in my house, and that's yeah. like the acorn. He thought it was a gun. I've literally been sitting in my Jeep in front of my house and had a pine cone hit the top of my car. I didn't think it was a fucking gun. Right. Like, <laughs> let really? me introduce this guy to 4th of July. Wow. Holy shit, Holy shit dude. dude. Yeah, for real. Man. Yeah, dude. Uh, but did you ever uh, have the same experience with the guy that came in second in the Halo tournament? What? Isn't that who we're talking about? Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> the guy that came in second? Oh, oh, there he is. Bop, bop. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> he shot at the acorn. Like, what are you doing? You just gave away your location. 
You want to talk a little music right now? A little fucking... Mika Parks got some new shit coming out, apparently. Oh, right? is that the one we're doing? Yeah, yeah. we heard this, right? The uh, the, the little, little snippet little, the they little released. Snippet. Yeah, what is yeah. it? It's uh, Friendly Fire. Yeah. Uh, your theory to me, we were talking about this earlier, sounds pretty correct. Like, it sounds like they just kind of found a chorus, and they're going to build from that. Like I said, bro, they yeah. if you've ever watched, like, the making of some of their albums, they record a lot of shit. Yeah. Like, I've seen them recording, like, hey, let's fuck around shit. But well, I mean, Tupac out. is still releasing new songs. No, right? but you know but I mean? we also <laughs> have an AI Chester going on right now. There is an AI Chester Bennington manipulated in songs. Oh, I've heard it, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you think they'd ever go that route? Like, I don't, did, like, I an don't. AI Chester thing? I don't think so. I don't think. Yeah, I don't weird, think Linkin Park would do it. One more I think album. record labels would <laughs> One say, more yeah, album, yeah, 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 I don't think. You don't think they would? I don't know, man. I mean, how easy would it be now to be like, oh, look, we found this new fucking track that we was fucking sitting around. Well, here he is singing it in the background, but we couldn't get him to sing it closer. So we Well, look at the Beatles song. I was about to say the Beatles thing. How yeah, many? that was, yeah, that was, was that music video. Is and I don't, I don't know how much of this is like that. Like, I know that there's a, like I said, I know they record a lot of shit. Yeah, because you were telling me they did like the making a meteor or whatever. And it was well, crazy. I know that that Mike Shinoda would get together with different guys in the band, and they were kind of just writing stuff. You know, it was two or three, hey, man, or I'm four of them. I know. You know, and and I think some of the other guys were off writing stuff. So I'm pretty sure they've got some uh, some hard drives with some shit on it. That's what's up. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, it's more Lincoln Park, you know? Yeah. Like, I like Lincoln Park, but I'm not like a fucking diehard Lincoln Park fan. Right. But the, if you like Lincoln Park, you're going to like that, right? So. Yeah. What'd you think yeah. of the little snippet? I, th- I, I mean, could you tell it's not AI generated? Rob still thinks it's AI Chester, dude. No, I mean, but it's just like, hey, we found a lost clip. You better start finding all the lost clips because people are going to start generating other clips and it's not even going to be able to. There's just all these clips on the internet. Oh, I found this clip. Well, I'm a little teapot. That fucking, <laughs> like, oh, dude, that fucking like, cop unloaded a whole clip, dog, in that car. <laughs> yeah. From the last story. Yeah. The what? He unloaded a whole I, clip on that car. I think it was two. It's fucking wild. I think two different officers dumped the mag in that that's, guy. That's ridiculous. And the guy lived. Um, I don't think he, they, they are terrible. Not only are they stupid, they're terrible shots. shots. You you were saying. Yeah. They're fucking <laughs> stormtroopers. They're fucking stormtroopers. Yeah. Right. Um, you were saying that he was that talking about that clip that they posted and that they said that it wouldn't be released for a while? Yeah. I was hearing that it's. I tried to find a release date and, and it was just a statement of. Mike Shinoda saying that it, it would be a while before there yeah. was an actual release date. And, you know, I, I don't know why. Who knows? Have you heard any of his of his own, like, newer stuff he's been doing? Yeah, I've heard some yeah. of it, yeah. It's very, um, it's it sounds a lot like a lot of the stuff he does. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a little more kind of, mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe more poppier than Linkin Park was a little more heavier, you know, at the beginning of their, yeah, you know, Hell career. Yeah, I mean, are you familiar with like Fort Minor type stuff? Was it more <laughs> along those lines? Yeah, it's more like that. It's not very like hybrid theory, you know, meteor. It's more, you know, I feel like it sounded a little more like that. Hmm. So I want to talk a little video games really quick. Yeah. Uh, little video there's games. There's this new game. <laughs> it's really hard to is see. This top, this Rob's <laughs> toilet games. <laughs> Do it on my Apple Watch. <laughs> Playing snake. <laughs> what kind of snake are you playing? Is that, is that how you play it? That's the uh, sound. He's just in the bathroom yeah. in the stall. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. If, I was, if I was in the stall next to him, I'd just be like, <laughs> the fuck? This guy needs to stop playing with his snake. I feel like Rob sitting in the fucking stall, he'd still be like leaning over. Yeah, but why did you guys <laughs> make it seem like I'm just. Still like, Bro, I remember here, here we go. I'm gonna walk through a mall. Well, I'm gonna shit there, in the fella. middle of this fucking. When we played fellas, like I went to go take a piss before we started playing, right? And I'm standing there taking a piss, and I was just here. What's up, Mark? And I turn around, and he's just like fucking two feet over the stall, just fucking taking a piss in the stall. He's like, "What's up, like, oh, dude?" What's up, man? I was like, "Oh, hey, what's up, bro?" What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. So, 
Especially if you video game. I didn't like, know we were going to have tiny hot dogs. <laughs> oh, shit. A tiny hot dog party? Yeah, oh, it's a cocktail shit. party. It's a cocktail party, man. You know what I'm saying? Cocktail wieners. Fucking. Uh, barely in the cock. It's I'm going to get this out. Tail. There's a new video game. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. Keep going. And it's called Hell Diver 2. Hell Divers 2. And Hell Diver. It's like been like this sleeper hit. Like people, yeah. like it's got so many people playing online. They were, they were talking about that. There's more people playing that game currently than GTA 5 online, which is always been like the top game that people are playing right now these days right. and uh what i love about this game is even if you're playing by yourself or if you're playing in the squad of four the, right. the entire game online is <laughs> the entire game's connected online and so basically there's other there's planets that you want to go and you fight these fucking aliens or robots or whatever they are yeah it's very star troopers yeah like starship troopers that's right? what it looked like yeah and uh it's all connected, so everybody's, when you're attacking a certain planet, there's like a percentage bar at the bottom letting you know, like, oh, this planet's like 17%, you know, you guys are, win you guys are, you guys have completed like 17% of this planet, or whatever. But as people start dropping out, the aliens start taking over, and then that percentage will like drop back to like 5%, or whatever it is. Okay. So people have been going like online on Discord and stuff, like... We all need to attack this planet this at this time. Let's all fucking jump in and just fucking you know and and do the thing, do the damn thing. I think that that's a really just cool rallying. It's a really cool way to feel like you're a part of a video game community. That's you cool. know, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've and, seen some gameplay of the it. Gameplay looks really cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'll be getting it this week. I'm getting it this week. Yeah, it's probably cool. like forty bucks. But, yeah, uh, oh, yeah. I think it's amazing we can get so many people on Discord, but we can't get them to vote. <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Just, hey, you guys got to sign up for this event. Oh, this is fucking bitching. Hey, guess who's going to run the free world? <laughs> well, yeah, but, but we're playing this game right now. Yeah. <laughs> Check out this free world. It's, it's a sandbox. Fucking, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. Cool. Um, uh, so, yeah, so that game. And they've released more uh, more info about uh, 2K24, the WWE. Okay. Which comes out next month. I'm really fucking excited for that game. It sounds like they're finally... Uh, starting to add elements of the game that, like, they're just doing fan service now. Like, fans that have been asking for certain match types to come back, they're bringing back and stuff like that. And the more gameplay I see of it, it just looks like it might be one of the best wrestling games made in a while. So, right. I'm stoked for that. Hell yeah. Right. Hell yeah. Yeah, like I said, uh, I'm definitely probably going to check that one out pretty soon here. Um, looks really good, man. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of excited to try it out. Yeah, and what's cool is like like you said, like I said, you can drop in by yourself on the planet. And even if you drop in by yourself, you'll still see other people playing on the planet. Right. Like, which is really cool. Yeah. And uh and then you can play in squads of four, or you can just team up with random people online and go in squads as well, like that too. And you drop in kind of like Fortnite. You're all standing in your fucking ship at the bottom, and then you all drop down in a pod and come and come down and fucking like a wreck party shit. bus. Predator. Like a party bus. Huh. Yeah, dude. Yeah. There you go. Hell yeah, dude. Where are we at right here? We'll just do this uh would you rather extreme edition, bro. Well, we only this. get a couple minutes. We'll, get, well, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll still do a couple do, of we'll them. We'll still do a couple here. Uh so this first one, Rob. Would you rather have the ability to time travel, but you'll age twice as fast, or stay in your current time forever but never age? That's a good question, bro. Too late. Inquiring right. minds want to know. Um and I can go back to the past. <coughs> well, you're time traveling wherever you want. Yeah, but, but every you... time you time travel, you're you're aging twice as fast. <clears throat> well, all I got to do is just time travel once and say, "Hey, listen, <laughs> you're going to hit this deal, and it's going to be the shit end at this point in your life." But then you'll be at that point in your life, and you'll age twice as fast from then on. That's true, bro. So now, I got to look as good as I do <laughs> so now. Now. now? Um, No, I'd rather die twice as fast. Yeah, I'm not trying to stay alive forever, bro. That like, I would horrible. time travel and just be like, let's see I, if this fixes things. Uh, I would try the time travel hey. thing. I would I'd, I'd do the uh, stay the current age and I forever? would just, yeah, I would work it. Just one day I'll take you take over and conquer the whole planet. Yeah. You know? That's what's... <laughs> I love the way your mind works, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I got, I'd have nothing but time, you know? It depends. 
can I fix my body first so I don't feel like shit at this age? Well, you could, <laughs> you'd could. be able to do surgery. I, do, I feel shit, like right? you would still feel the same way, but like you age faster. And I'm like, I feel like I already do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm getting older as I like fucking speak. Because I could be okay with 40 if I had a fucking shoulder that worked and didn't have back pain, but I'm, I don't now, know. Now, does staying in your current time forever, does it mean it's kind of like a Groundhog's Day? Like you're reliving the same day every day? Do it doesn't still doesn't say that. Pain? It just says you'll never am age. I, like, just that's look it. this good. Like, your pain gets worse. <laughs> I'm near worse. It's not, it's not the same amount of pain. Like you'll still feel more pain as you get older, but you still look the same. All right, Rob. Would you rather have a butthole on your forehead or a dick, on, or a dick on your chin? Butthole on my forehead. Why? Oh, there's so many reasons. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's hear them. one. Yeah, you get the hat fart. <laughs> you get the hat farts. What is it? Never mind. I don't want to ask. But you, you can totally get the whoo! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, then you got a fucking skid mark on your hat. <laughs> you do that shit. <laughs> hey, you know, there, there's some party favors. So you're taking a butthole on the forehead? Dude, you imagine that, you the headbutt some dude and just like. <laughs> shit all over him like after you fucking do and I had a heartbeat <laughs> just knock you out and fucking shit on you <laughs> you just gave me into the world you got some shit on your head wow tell me you wouldn't head do that head button and shit on him <laughs> yeah you just got bold kissed bro <laughs> <laughs> if you can time a fart right when your head butts you, you put in your butt hole right when you head butt your somebody, head butt with your forehead you butt me. I'm going butt hole in the forehead oh man what, what you got Danny All right, what would so, you do wait, what, what would you, what you do was, 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 say this like, to me would you rather have a Give butt hole on your forehead or a dick on your chin oh my god dick I don't know like I don't know. I don't want a butthole on my forehead. <laughs> I mean, if you grew a long enough beard, I guess. I guess I, my, I would choose. Oh, you grow a beard over your dick. Yeah, I mean, but you yeah, you, you, you do it right don't you? You probably got a dick under there right now. No. Let's see, let's see, bro. Oh, it's a little cocktail. It's a little cocktail. <laughs> oh man, Mark, how'd you get in there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the uh, the the cock on the chin, but I'm gonna grow a beard. Cock, there you, you go. got a cock beard. Cock a beard. Yeah. I take the cock a beard. I spread it and be like, oh, "What's up?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you got, Josh? <laughs> it's more like ZZ Bottom. Put the, ZZ bottom. <laughs> put the curtain, you know. Well, <laughs> I do agree with Rob, but I think for my wife's sake, I'm gonna go with the dick on the chin. See? I was gonna say, I think the wives would appreciate that, right? Do you, do you see where the the anatomy it's and more how plausible? It, yeah. The beard does not help in that situation. <laughs> the beard no, she only likes the beard. helps in the hiding it. In the, the bush is the biggest. I mean, I guess you're good so long as you don't get a heart on your face, right? <laughs> that would suck. Yeah, dude. It's like, hey, you know, bro. <laughs> Hey. Then you got a whole other you got a whole other problem, you know what I mean? You're, you're watching Wolf of Wall Street at the bar. Do you, do you, <laughs> do you in this situation, Sorry. do you still have a penis and the yeah, normal got, and a butt got, hole in the cell? You still got your other homies. You, you just, still got your other homies are still there, dude. But did you decide what are you doing? Yeah, you I'm doing the said, dick said on, dick the on the chin. chin. Yeah, I'd go with the wiener. I'm going with uh, the wiener on the chin, not the butthole on the forehead. Butt on the forehead for the headbutt farts, dude. Fucking I don't know. It is feasible. <laughs> Jesus, that's how you do it, huh? Holy fuck! This starts leaking. <laughs> oh, we'll be right back. Yeah, no, uh, this has been the last days of Warcast, guys. Uh, we're trying something a little different. We're going a little shorter format. So let us know in the comments how you guys feel about this. I think it's just because it's cold out. Tonight. And uh, let us know if you appreciate half hour episodes or the hour episodes. You know what I mean? That could be this week's point. Says does, man. Yeah. Wait, um, under your chin? So check us check us out on all streaming platforms. Once again, check out our latest single reach. You guys uh click the links in the bio. Best way to support. Buy some merch. Thank you. We love you. We're out.